This is a 5 minutes video to demonstrate the main functionality added in version 2.1 of Pocket RXTX Android application. In order to use it properly, check that you correctly entered your own call sign. This can be done from the web SDR mode setup page. Long press on the server call sign icon. Check that your call sign is the right one, as you registered in QRZ. To enter your QRZ credentials, long press on the UTC clock when the radio is off. Enter username and password separated by a slash. Press set to save the credentials in the application config file. To initiate a log entry, long press on the UTC clock when you are in the call. Enter the call sign of your correspondent. The QRZ database is automatically queried. The correspondent name, locator, QTH, and country data is automatically filled in. If a picture is available, this will be displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Enter the RST values for both ends of the call. You can add an optional comment too. In the lower part of the screen, the distance from your QTH to the correspondent QTH is displayed in kilometers and miles. Check the data and then click on save to save the entry in the log file. The start time is automatically set to the time when you opened the log entry, so do it at the beginning of the call. The end time is automatically set to the time when you saved the log entry. Some call information is extracted from the radio settings, frequency, mode, band, etc. When the call entry is opened, the UTC clock background goes green. Enter just the call sign of the correspondent. Click on the UTC clock to toggle between radio interface and log entry, without closing current entry. Save the entry when ending the call. The UTC clock background will go black. Let's save to the log a new call info, following the described procedure. At any time, you can export the whole call log saved locally as an email attachment. Click on email button. The default email application on your device is automatically started. The destination recipient is automatically set to your own QRZ registered email address. The subject and the message body is filled in automatically too. The ADIF call log file is attached to the email. If you want, you can change any email field. When ready, click on send button. You will receive the email in your inbox. As previously stated, the attachment contains the login ADIF format. That file can be further opened in any ADIF editor. You can delete the whole locally stored call log by clicking on Dell button. For more details, check the application updated user guide available on my web page or in the application help menu. 
See you next time. Bye.